Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to an economic weather report brought to you in association with ASB. There aren't many companies in this country that can turn themselves into macroeconomic factors, but Fonterra is one of them. Today it announced its forecast payout for the 2009-10 year, and the number was a bit of a shock. $4.55 per kilogram of milk solids. This is down from $5.20 in the current year, down from a high the previous year of $7.90. This is all because of a drop in the value of commodity prices in the last year or so, and because the New Zealand dollar has risen from around 50 US cents to about 60 US cents now. This is actually lower than what many economists had forecast. They were expecting around about $5, they got $4.55. It's also lower than what Fonterra had indicated to farmers a few months ago. Fonterra says this is all because of the, of the rise in the New Zealand dollar. Now, this will have an effect on the, on the wider economy. About a billion dollars less will be in the economy because of this lower payout. Farmers, too, will really feel the heat. Fonterra itself says they, they expect their farmers to feel a lot of cash flow pain in the next few months. And that's why they're bringing forward 20 cents of this year's payout to August from October. Fonterra is also giving farmers the chance to buy next year's shares early. Remember, farmers have to buy one share for every kilogram gram of milk solid they produce. Part of the reason for the lower payout is the increase in the export subsidies that the United States announced a few days ago. This has made the outlook much more volatile. Another factor to look at for Fonterra is that it says that its balance sheet is now looking a bit stronger than it was back in January when it released its last report. It now sees a debt to debt plus equity ratio of 53.5% by the end of July. This is important for many people who bought Fonterra bonds. This means that its balance sheet seems a bit stronger. Fonterra says this is because it's been able to sell off some inventory quicker than expected, and also because its farmers have produced more this year. And for every extra production they have to produce, they have to buy some extra Fonterra shares, so that's more equity injected into the, co into the company. So down to 53.5% from a high of 61% in July. And Fonterra is confident it can get down to that 50% target sometime in the next 12 months. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was a special economic weather report on Fonterra's payout, brought to you in association with ASB.